Hello, I'm Greg Wheeler. The Patterns of Thinking Method let your students learn content knowledge and thinking skills in parallel. The Patterns of Thinking, or DSRP, can be used with any student at any grade level and in any subject area. You can teach your students to make distinctions, or D, using guiding questions. What is this idea? What is not this idea? Distinction, this interplay between identity and other, is a universal pattern of thinking. Think blocks are a way to model distinction making. Your students can use think blocks to build a physical model of any distinction. Let's say you're studying democracy. What is it? Or what's included in it? Students might respond with answers like voting or citizens. Well, what is it not? Students might say things like having no choice or other systems of government like dictatorships. You can either make these responses into an entire system that's called not democracy, or you can make a circle radiating outward from democracy. Ideas farther from democracy are less and less part of this distinction. Students have used think blocks to build a physical model of what an idea is and what it is not. They'll achieve deeper understanding of this idea, what it is, by understanding what it is not. Over time, students learn to look for the often invisible other, to make clearer boundaries between ideas, to understand that these boundaries often change, and to construct more streamlined and elegant models. With the Patterns of Thinking method, your students learn to make distinctions, the interplay between identity and other. Think blocks allow students to get ideas out of their heads and into their hands, and make better distinctions. 